name is Chico Sierra, um, illustrator, painter, muralist. So like the me I love like uh, Mexican and Guatemalan like embroidery. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to sort of mimic that with some of the images that I use, which is like I use the bull a lot and a lot of like lines and dots and stuff. And then yeah. painting the whole thing. Yeah, it's apparently it's like an easy thing. You just have to like make sure that you're using the right kind of paint. Sure. And then I'll just go over with like um, just I use these acrylic paint markers like. It's not gonna be comfortable. Yeah. So this is gonna be cool right now, but That's awesome. don't wear it outside. That's not it. Yeah. <laughs> so my name is Jillian Youngbird. Um, I'm a multimedia artist. When I started making this, it was during Pride Month. So bright colors were everywhere and I was just in love with it. I wanted to make something that not only was like bright and fun, but was also auditory. Play with, play with it. Yeah, right. Yeah. My name is JT Daniels. Uh, I'm a local visual artist slash muralist. So the idea for, for this, if I were to put this on a dress, it would just be to continue the design so that it does a full wrap around and it comes from the bottom up and then maybe fades. It's yellow, this orange, and this blues. For different body structures, like as you're you're walking, like it, I feel like it should be designed a certain way so that you can also appreciate like the full dress. You're not just looking at little portions of it. My name is Jason Wilcox, I'm born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm an artist. Uh, I work with acrylics paintings. Recently, I've been um, intrigued with uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Uh, everything's a challenge. Yeah. You just gotta go into it and just see how it comes out. I have to like really sit and like look at the dress and um, just kind of let my, let my mind just wander from there. My name is Chris. People call me Chris Swap. Um, this is Yana. We also are two people a part of like a larger group of, of a collective called Swap. Um, Swap is a minority-owned collective that disrupts the norm through cultural arts, events, and multimedia. And through that, we just kind of wanted to come together to put together a dress that, I guess, in our eyes, would it's like what it's like to live inside the Midwest. We wanted to use uh, dye and paint to add to the dress. And he's playing with um, <coughs> getting this this gradient. I wanted to also include like toys and different things that kind of added to like the nostalgia feeling. And it's like close to home, it's kind of like a mock to like being in the middle of nowhere, all mm -hmm. the cows and farmland, just like making it sparkle. It's like what you thought was here is actually cooler than what it is. Exactly, what it was. yeah. <laughs> My name is Mark Allen. Um, I'm an artist and a photographer here in The Crossroads. For this show, I'm doing my style of painting, which is black and white with a bunch of eyeballs and different messages. This project really inspired me to take my paintings off of the canvas and paint directly onto the clothes. So it's an opportunity to put people in a painting. It's going to be exciting to actually see it walk down the runway. Well, my name is Melanie Sherman. I am a ceramic artist. I work mainly in porcelain. I'm originally from Germany, so you know, porcelain and blue and white wear is very familiar to me. I was thinking my color scheme is going to be blue, gold and white for the dress, um, then the decals for example. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping to um, incorporate the, um, the more geometric forms in, on the top part mm -hmm. and then the flowy part of the dress I, will, I would like to incorporate the flowers and just paint them on there with um, like a textile color. I'm Prof. Mikhail Elrod. This is my textile art. Imagine the model as the subject that I normally would do. That got me thinking about Artemis, my favorite goddess, protector of girls, and divine femininity. Basically, I start with, um, I'll do like a, a sketch of the piece as, as a whole in my sketchbook just to get an idea of what I want to do. And then from there, I do each specific part of that I'll draw. This will be on a felt base, and then it'll have maybe like 10 different fabrics on it awesome. to get all of the little the details. And yeah. And then originally I was thinking the back would have just a little bit of that brook running through it and mostly be like all the dark parts of the forest, like fungus, and have moths flying out. I've been really wanting to do uh, like some couture ah. type of wearable things, so I have been so welcome to the party. into there this. It is. Okay. <laughs>